Cool, so I wanted to quickly record and document uh, DeLorean issue that I've got. So literally the past week, um, the car hasn't been running well, as well as it should do on the low revs. So uh, 1,000, 1,500 RPM, it's got a slight stutter basically, and I can tell by the engine sound, it's just not running um, quite right. So still drives and all that sort of stuff, you know, but I can tell that's for, literally for this last one week, it hasn't been running very well, very, very well on those um, RPMs. 1500 upwards accelerates absolutely perfect so what i did first of all is um put the dwell meter on i um, had a look at that while the engine was hot and noticed that it wasn't fluctuating between 35 to 45 on the four cylinder mode it was just staying static at like 45 i think it was you press this in here and it jumped up to whatever the number was like 55 for example but it did it correctly as per the manual so that was an issue there that then leads you to the um oxygen sensor down here um so what I did as a combination of a few things is that uh, first of all, I took the spark plugs out, had a look at those. They're all that lovely and clean and even and perfect. Took out all the injectors as well, because we might as well wash them in there, it's nice and easy. Did the, the cup test, um, obviously overrun the fuel pump, did that. They're all going, they're, they're all that new injectors, um, about, about a year old roughly. They all sprayed lovely, apart from this one here on the low, on the low acceleration was a bit, a bit stuttery clearly different from these ones so that one had a little less fuel in the cup so basically i cleaned that one there out all of it's new i took it out sprayed it cleaned it just double checked and removed a little fuel filter um here cleaned it pumped a bit of fuel through to make sure there's no crap in there um, and that then that then definitely helped that out so it might have been like a little speck of dust or dirt or something somehow into that injector so injectors are all good um then took out the the oxygen sensor and had a look at that. So that is the part there which controls um, the fluctuating of the, the of the dwell meter. Now excuse me in termination and it is term terms wrong. Sorry, excuse me if I get those wrong, but that's what it controls. It tells the engine to run you know, if it's run, running rich or lean, and then adjusts the fuel air mixture ratio. That's the sort of gist of it. Along with this um, valve down here which buzzes on my car, which is great. So I took that out, that was very, very sooty. So I cleaned it um, in petrol and carburetor cleaner and ran the car, you know, the, the next step to working back again and it still did the same thing. So no fluctuation at all on it. So I kind of feel that, and I'll check the wiring all the way through, the wiring's perfect. Clips onto the um, Lambda ECU, which is underneath the, uh, near the back, near the, underneath the seat there. And all, all fine, all normal, all, all totally sweet. So the problem is something to do with this. So I have ordered a new one of those, so that's fine. I don't like just chucking the money at the car, I like to look at issues first, because obviously that is very, very sooty. Why has that become sooty? You know, that part should last for years and years and years. It's a DeLorean Europe one, it could be faulty, yes, but normally these sorts of things here would last for years and years and years. You wouldn't have to replace them for like, you know, 50,000 miles, for example. So what this then led me on to was also looking at this. So this is um, the uh, cold start valve. So when I got the car, this didn't work at all. So it's completely gummed up and I didn't realise it wasn't working until about, you know, I don't know, about 18 months ago, roughly, when I realised it wasn't working. So I took it, so I took it off, um, cleaned it in ultrasonic cleaner, hammered it gently to get the mechanism working. And then once it worked and it started spraying, happy days back in again. Now, I, I was thinking maybe, I've taken it out a few times, maybe it was leaking. So what does I run the car, come home? Under the two bolts, take it out, and I could see there was slow drips onto a onto a white cloth. And I'm thinking, well, that should probably now it's under pressure and it's not electronically operated. It should probably to close, have you know a drip or a few drips, you know, and then that should be it. It shouldn't shouldn't seep at all. I'm not an expert on these on these cars and these valves. I've, I've always ran air cooled Volkswagen, which don't have anything to do with any of this sort of stuff on. But I assume that probably shouldn't drip. So what I did today is um, I took it out, securely put it in a bag like this, obviously round the top, locked up uh, the pipe there so, so you don't get any massive air leak where it goes, made sure it's all secure, happy days. Put my phone there, which you'll see in the video, started the car up, it gave that the initial spray like it should do because the engine was cold. And I ran, literally ran up the road and back for a few minutes and then parked it there and left it there. And um, over the first, say, hour and a half, I had three complete, sort of three almost complete tubes of petrol. So that's almost, so that's about 14 millilitres of petrol in this. So you see here, I've got like a little cowpole syringe in there. 
So the spray on the bottom, that is the petrol that actually sprayed out initially when I started. Uh, and then you've got, um, I've had two and basically three quarters of these tubes, which are five mil tube filled with petrol. Okay. So the issue obviously, well, in my opinion, is definitely this cold start valve is leaking. Um, and obviously if I'd left that, then I'd had almost, almost, you know, 14, 15 mil of fuel would have gone down into the engine. It would have sat in the engine there. So when I start the car up the next time, it would obviously um, go on to the, uh, obviously, obviously it would burn off, come out of the exhaust and tons and tons of soot and crap would go out of my sensor, blocking the sensor. So I'm feeling that the reason the sensor is blocked is because that has been a problem. And, and now, yeah, so the actual remediation of this is basically I'm gonna run the cold start valve through my ultrasonic cleaner when the new one arrives um, this week at some point. So hopefully that will sort, hopefully it's just some crap in there or something, you know, um, and hopefully that will, that will sort it so I can test that. Otherwise, um, you can't go and buy new ones of these. If I can go and buy a new one, you know, I mean, for 150 quid, I'll go and buy a new one, but you can't. It's a very little old, old part. Um, it's got a part number on there ending 400. There's obviously, so you can go on eBay and you can buy many used ones of these ranging from sort of 40 quid to 150 quid. But obviously you don't know the condition of buying a used one. I mean, they all look either worse than this, physically worse than this, or they're just, um, you know, they're all old. Um, and obviously there are other ones that are called at part numbers like 401, 406 from different models. But of course, you'd imagine maybe they spray, you know, less fuel, more fuel, different pressures, you know, they might not have to handle the pressure of the DeLorean system, you know, so I kind of want to stick to the 400 model, which is this one here. But obviously I don't want it leaking, which I presume it, it is definitely the fault. So yes, I'm going to uh, wait for my Luxonic cleaner to arrive, run us through the Luxonic cleaner. I can then run, up, run the car up and down the road, do this exact test and see if it's um, leaking or not. And if it is leaking still, then um, I'll have to um, find a new one of these. Um, but I mean, I don't need to use a car now anyway, and I won't be using the car now because I don't want to put the new sensor in until I know this is sorted, because you know, that's like another 35 quid for the sensor. So yes, that is the plan. Thanks all, hope it makes sense. Anyone's got any comments or tips or hints or whatever, or want to share anything, just yeah, post up.